everyone and welcome to Curly and Yarny. I'm Milena and for uh, today's video I'm taking you somewhere else. I'm doing something a little different. So I'm taking you to the other side of my home where I have my new wish a loom that I acquired several months ago and I will be uh, talking about this loom a little bit but mostly I will be talking to you about a fiber experiment that I am undergoing. So let's get to it. So first of all let's talk about this new baby that I have acquired several months ago. And so this is a four chef Dorothy uh, loom. So it's basically a table loom, but it came with the add on uh, threadles on it. So I can use it as a, a floor loom, but I still have the handles here if I want to use it as a table loom. So it's a second hand loom. So <laughs> I am the second or third owner of this loom. Uh, so it is a Leclerc. So it was made uh, in Quebec, Canada. And also the width is uh, 22 inches wide, which is perfect for me because I mostly wanted to weave scarves and a dish towel with it. So for me it was a nice width for that. Uh, it's pretty compact so it fits well uh, on this uh, part uh, of my home too. This loom cannot move so much so it's mostly stationary here. Uh, as you can see it's a perfect spot because I can always spy on my neighbors right there. Uh, when I got this loom uh, there was already a warp on it. Uh, so it was a warp to make placemats. Uh, so I wove it off and uh, then I uh, wove one scarf and now I'm weaving dish towels. Uh, so even though I got it many months ago, <laughs> several months ago, I'm still getting acquainted with this loom so I still, we still have a lot of uh, catching up to do. We still uh, need to learn a little bit more about each other so I wasn't feeling that comfortable to make many videos about it but it's, this is definitely something that I want to do more in the future. Uh, but don't worry, I still love my original loom and I will still be making videos about it but that's a very nice add-on for the family uh, for my, my loom family <laughs> uh, one of the reasons why uh, I'm learning a lot on this loom is because I don't have all the necessary equipment at home to warp it in the conventional way so my loom came with what we call the sectional beam at the back so that's an add-on that the previous owner had bought for the loom uh, so with this uh, usually a uh, sectional beam you would uh, warp with a tension box and also another piece of equipment which I only have the French name in my head so it's a cannelier but here's the English word. <laughs> so um, I don't have any of those equipment so I uh, had to find another way to warp my loom. I could also have used a rattle kit which I also don't have uh, so I use something totally different. So uh, but this is not today's video so in the next video I will show you how I warp this loom uh, and I know this is not a conventional way but it works I still have a warp on my loom and I'm weaving the towel so at the, the, the final effect is the same thing for the project today so what's on the loom uh, so as I said I work for kitchen towel or dish towels but I'm doing a fiber experiment as I said and uh, so what I want to do uh, I as I mentioned in the earlier video I really want to try new fibers I want to go out of the beaten path of using cotton so uh, on my last uh, trip to the yarn store I bought a lot of different kind of yarn my warp is 100% cotton then for each hand towel or dish towel I'm using a different fiber uh, so the first one is cotton, then I'm using hemp, I'm using cotton boucle, cotton boucle, I'm using cotton linen, and I'm also using cotton chenille. And so for all of those different type of fibers, I have heard in my <laughs> life at some point that they were the more absorbent kind of fiber, so this is what I want to try out today. So uh, once it's all woven of the loom, I will try to see uh, which of those fibers I prefer the most and which one is the most absorbent one. Um, so right now I am weaving with cotton linen and then as soon as I'm done weaving all of this I will cut it off so my beam is starting to be very packed so it's starting to be very very big and I really can't wait to uh, unroll it I'm sure you also are very excited to see it unroll so, uh, <laughs> so I will keep on weaving this and I'll meet you uh, very shortly uh, with uh, the unrolling also I like to know, uh, mention that I'm doing different patterns for all of the dish towels and the patterns I took them all from so and extend directory handwoven pattern so here's a photo of the book <laughs> so uh, they're all here uh, in this book so I will provide uh, in the description and also on my website uh, all the details of uh, what 
what pattern I use for uh, which towels. the seventh uh, towel and now I still have a little bit of warp left so I've started a eighth towel on this warp I just realized I thought I worked for eight meters but I actually work for 8.5 meters or maybe even 8.7 meters so that's a lot more than I thought uh, so here's this surprise towel the eighth one I'm really not sure if I'm gonna be able to uh, weave it uh, to the length that I really want it to be but uh, we'll see This one is woven with linen, so in order to weave it, I need to humidify it a bit. Otherwise, it just unrolls from the bobbin too much and it's very messy. And welcome back to a whole new place. So I've moved place again. Uh, my mom is a talented quilter and with that comes amazing quilts but also come an amazing sewing studio. So I went to her place uh, to do uh, the hemming of uh, my dish towels. Uh, so in total I got eight of them. <laughs> so we have a lot of work ahead of us. Uh, so without further ado, let's just start aiming them. wish to try some of the yarn and fibers that I've tried today, please note that they are all available through uh, the Rollery's website. So I have provi provided a link in the description down below. So you just have to click on it and browse through uh, their wide selection of yarn. Just make sure that you know that this is an affiliate link. So if you click on it and get tempted and buy some yarn <laughs> and make a purchase, I would make a small commission from it at no more cost to you. It's really just a way for me to keep making those dish towels and videos. So here we have the eight dish towels that I wove and hemmed in today's video. So this makes quite a pile of dish towels. I'm very happy with it. And so this is it for today's video. Um, the fiber experiment or yarn experiment will be uh, done in another video. And maybe not next week and maybe not even the week after that. 
And the reason for this is that for some of the fibers in here, I know that they are their best self when they have been washed for a few times. Uh, I know it's the case especially for linen. So I want to uh, give each of those yarns the, <laughs> the possibility to be their best self. So I'm going to uh, use those dish towels for a few amount of time and see after that uh, which one is the most absorbent of them all. And for this experiment, I'm very lucky because uh, my mother uh, agreed to volunteer, so she's going to get half of them and I'm going to do the other half. And in maybe 10 washes or so, uh, I'll try again to see uh, which one is uh, my favorite fiber, or I don't know if I can say favorite, but the most absorbent. Talking about this, I'm still not exactly sure how I want to test it out. So I'm thinking, um, and there's two ways that I want to maybe try it. So in my first idea, I would have eight different containers with the exact amount of water in them. And then I would put um, all of eight dish towels in them and I will take them off and I will see uh, in which containers there is uh, less water left in it. Another idea I've had is maybe just soak each of them in a container and in the second container uh, I will have um, a scale. And then I will just do this with all of them and see which one of the dish towel had more water in it after I had totally uh, squeezed them to take the water off. So I'm really, really not sure how I want to do this. Maybe it's just going to be a um, good feeling too. Maybe I cannot do it in a very scientific way with the means I have. So we'll see. So I really hope you enjoyed today's video. It was a lot of fun doing it. If you did like it, make sure to hit uh, the like uh, button. The little, the little thumbs up here at the bottom uh, of the screen. This actually really helps uh, my channel uh, to keep growing and to uh, keep rolling. And I really hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.